the Conservatives have a lot of wind in their sails right now. Pierre Polyev has had a good summer. His, his uh, standing in the polls has gone up while Justin Trudeau's has gone down. So for the party, they want to continue that momentum. They don't want anything to come up at this convention that derails the momentum that they have built up over, over the summer. And there are some potential pitfalls there, uh, as Catherine was discussing, around particularly LGBTQ rights, but probably some other social issues. The Conservatives have been here before, and their last policy convention, I believe it was, they rejected a motion to, um, saying that climate change was real. And, and that caused the party problems. Now, the leader's not bound by any of these resolutions. These are the, this is an opportunity for the membership to tell the leadership what they would like to see in the platform. They're not bound by these. Uh, and Aaron O'Toole promptly dismissed uh, the failure of that resolution uh, and produced a climate change policy of his own. But it dogged him for the, his entire time as leader and through the election mm -hmm. campaign. And that's exactly what Pierre Polyev wants to avoid this weekend. What do you think is resonating specifically in BC um, with, when it comes to what they're hearing from Pierre Polyev? I think one of obviously cost of living is is huge for Canadians everywhere, uh, and and the price of housing in particular is acute in BC, particularly the lower mainland here, southern Vancouver Island, but increasingly in places in the interior like Kelowna and Kamloops and and so on and so forth. Uh, mortgage rates have gone up considerably. So if you're getting into the housing market, it's tougher to get a mortgage with these high rates, or if you've had to renew uh, a mortgage at these very high rates, you, you've really been hit hard. Mm. Of course, people are being hit hard uh, when they're shopping for their groceries uh, and other items they need for their daily, uh, daily lives and necessities. So I think that that's really top of issue for many British Columbians, sure. as it is for, for Canadians everywhere. And this has been Pierre Polyev's uh, focus and uh, whether Pierre Polyev has gone up in the opinion polls because he's saying the right things or Justin Trudeau is perceived to be doing the wrong things is not clear to me yet.